Hello everyone, and welcome back to another discussion about the 2021 summer anime season. Today we will be discussing Remake Our Life. This one is an interesting concept. It's about a guy who is around my age, he's 28, I'm a little bit older. Um, his life is not going well. He has a, an office job and he's trying to pursue a game, uh, video game industry career. He has an internship, but it like ends abruptly, leaving him unemployed, and it's just a whole huge mess of things. Um, and there's this group in this world known as the Platinum Generation, uh, a group of people who are around his age that are very skilled and talented at what they do. I think one's a singer, one's an author, one's an artist, um, and they're very good at what they do, and they're apparently making like a, uh, a, a game together uh, with like this company and stuff like that. And so he like is envious of them. And he's like, man, if only I would have went back to uh, traditional or to an arts college instead of a normal university like I did 10 years ago, um, things would have been different. Ah, you know. And so he's like, shame that there's not a second chance, no second chances in life, blah, 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 blah. And then miraculously, he finds himself 10 years in the past, past, past. So surely he uses his knowledge of, uh, what happens in the future to his benefit, right? He doesn't just go to the art school and, like, act like a normal person, right? Surely he uses his knowledge to his benefit to, like, gain reputation and stuff, right? Wrong. No. It's literally like he's a normal student. That's all it is. He just goes and attends class. He meets some friends, and he helps them out and stuff like that. And through helping them out, he finds various things out. Uh, big mistake on his part. What I would have done since it was 10 years ago, I would have just bought a shit ton of Bitcoin. And then, uh, I mean, I would have still been doing what it was doing. Like, I'd still attend school and all that. But Bitcoin, I would have just invested the hell out of uh, when I was his age. Because uh, I think around the time that it takes place, which is like 2010, Bitcoin had just started. So you can, like, you can get, like, thousands of Bitcoins for, like, less than a dollar and... At, at that point, like, what what is Bitcoin now? It's like a couple thousand. Bitcoin is currently forty two thousand dollars. Yeah. So if you if you bought one thousand shares of Bitcoin in twenty ten, you would have forty two million dollars. So, goddamn, goddamn, that would have been like ten bucks. Back when it first started, since it was under a dollar. My God. <laughs> anyway, enough about that. Uh, anyway, it's a story about basically him uh, going back in time and trying to change his future uh, to make his life better. And, you know, he wants to be a game designer, so he uh, goes to the arts college and, you know, starts doing some stuff. He meets some friends and stuff kind of happens. And uh, it doesn't necessarily go his way. He uses his previous knowledge of like game design and having actually worked in the field to uh, help stuff. God, it's hard to say without spoilers. Um, without him, it is really hard to say without spoilers what he does. Um, he, he uses his future knowledge to somewhat benefit his past self, but for the most part, he, he's still learning new things in the arts college. It's not like he knows everything because he never went to the college before. The only thing that he has is, like, current, like, job experience. Um, so he's learning the basics, even though he already knows, like, the practical application and stuff like that. So he's he's building a more firm foundation, essentially, is what's going on. Uh, but anyway, he, he gets friends, and stuff occurs. And towards the end, it kind of gets a little, huh? Like, sketchy. Um, and stuff happens. And it's very cute and adorable. Um... God, it just sucks that I can't say much about it without spoiling a shit ton of stuff. Uh, regardless, <clears throat> I thought it was okay. It was pretty decent. Uh, it was a little lackluster, considering he didn't really use much of his prior knowledge to uh, influence how things went. And it seemed like he would, like, doubt himself a lot and be, like, very reserved in what he would do. Um, like, instead of pursuing something, he would just, like, give up and be sad about 
particular things, um, which I thought was weird. Uh, just like key points, not like throughout the entire story. It was like key points that he was like, he just gave up rather than pursuing it and whatnot. And it makes sense for the story because if he would have, you know, actually pursued something particular at one particular time, the rest of the story wouldn't necessarily clicked and worked. But uh, regardless, I'm going to just back away there. It does seem like it could have a second season. However, it also could not need a second season. Um, it kind of depends on how you look at it. Because it, it ends where they're still in school and everything. However, it ends kind of where things are having loose ends and stuff like that. Um, and it definitely seems like there could be different things that could happen in a second season. Um, to get from point A to point B, you know what I'm saying. Uh, but yeah. So it's, it's basically like, as the name says, remake our life. Uh, you go back in time and you remake your life uh, and the people lives around you. Because uh, as you know, if you change the past, it changes the future. So if you interfere with other people's lives, it's going to change the future uh, for them as well. So that's kind of the story. It's, it's okay. Uh, it's not necessarily something I would rewatch ever. Because uh, I think the only stuff I really rewatch is like really good action stuff, like isekais or uh, um, stuff like that. But uh, I don't really rewatch like stuff that has like a story, like this, for example. Uh, I would rewatch like slice of life stuff, which is like more comedy stuff that occurs. But uh, romance and stuff like that, I'm not really sure I would rewatch. Uh, and this does have like some hints of romance in it as well. Uh, and some drama and all that stuff, but nothing too over the top in that particular regard. Uh, anyway, I'll wrap things up here saying it's it's an okay show. If there's a second season, I will watch it, but I also think that it kind of wrapped up okay. I don't know. Shrug. Regardless, that'll do things for me, everyone. We only have three more series to talk about, and uh, one of them we should be able to talk about here pretty quick, uh, which is the... Uh, you battle after five minutes of meeting, or five seconds after you meet. Uh, and then there's the Itaten anime, which will take another week to get out. And then Higurashi, which might take another week or two, because uh, it is still ongoing um, and whatnot. And I cannot wait to talk about Higurashi, because, oh my god, this season. Anyway, thank you all for watching. And until next time, I will catch you all next time. Bye for now.